All right. We are going to get right into our favorite drinks, alcoholic drinks at Walt Disney World. And I think it's fair that we leave out Disney Springs. Yeah. Or else well, the whole list would be Disney Springs. I at have least for me. one at Disney Springs. Do you? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I could just spend all my time at Raglan Road and be happy. All my five drinks would be there. <laughs> and they'd all be the same thing. Got the 50th Disney bug today. Anyway, okay, you go first. Let's kick it off. What is your, what's your first drink? My first drink has to be from Epcot, of course, and it is the Top Shelf Classica Margarita. It's from Chose de Margarita. Got to be Top Shelf? It's got to be the Top Shelf. <laughs> top shelf. Oh, man. Where, where, where is that at? It's in Epcot. Is it in one of the... um? Countries? I forget which country that's in. Mexico. It's in Mexico. Oh, margarita. Duh. Yeah. Okay. So top shelf margarita. Classic. Top shelf margarita. Wow. Okay. If you like margaritas, you have to get the classic. This is going to be actually a great list because Kim and I's version of drinking is totally different. That's true. Like I drink way different stuff than you. You like margaritas. You like the what, what's the thing when you wake up in the morning and you have like a orange juice and champagne a mimosa. mimosa i can't do that um i'm gonna go to the rose and crown oh. again at epcot and give me an irish car bomb from I rose didn't and crown think about that even That's though it's an one. english joint i'm down for an irish car bomb there when i stopped by there last time we were there yeah um i got an irish car bomb and it was great i mean the bar always is standing room only i don't think there's any there's many bar seats it's a really small bar it's always compared. crowded, yeah, but yeah. it's worth it. Yeah, so that that's why I'm going. Starting my list off right. That was a good one. So you got margarita, relax, sip it, <laughs> and then an Irish car bomb, you know, drop your shot into your Guinness and send it. So my second one, I did go to Disney Springs. I had to stop at Swirls on the Water and get my yeah. favorite, a Dole Whip with Angry Orchard. Dole with Angry Orchard. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll count that because that's not really like at a restaurant. No. It's and like it's cart, really right? good. You have to try it. I've never... Did I try that? I don't think so. I'm not a big Angry Orchard fan, though. It gets too sweet. I like too sweet. fast, but you like that. Okay. I'm going to finish off Epcot for me. I'm going to Japan. And the only drink that I had there, surprisingly, I do like their sake, but... I like the I like sake that I buy here better. I I like their Tokyo Sunset. Um, it's a little sweet, but what Japan does at Epcot that I really like is all their stuff is so strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, their drinks are very strong. If your goal is to go there and get a little buzz and have fun, um, you definitely want to make sure that one of your drinks is from Japan. I feel like you can't really mess up at Epcot. All the drinks we've ever had, they're always strong. Do you know what I noticed over the years? There's a big uh, war between people of which way you should start. There is, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was a thing. I mean, we don't even really like, like we just go, we go left. Yeah. But we don't go left on like any kind of, for any kind of reason. No, we usually just have a mission of like where we're going to eat or. Yeah, we're more focused on food and just drink as we go. Yeah. I don't get the left and right thing. I but don't know. I don't know. Not my thing. If you go left, you go right. You're still making the same lap. <laughs> um, my next drink was the rum blossom that I got at Animal Kingdom and it has the boba balls on top of it. So it's really good with Bacardi rum and apple. I remember that. Really good drink if you're over by Pandora. I'm usually waiting there because I can't get on the ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you're at animal kingdom i'm gonna stay there and i'm going to our favorite spot at animal kingdom if you know where that's at the dawa bar the dawa bar yeah and i'm gonna start with the safari amber lager we never miss the dawa bar the beer there now their selection is limited and mm -hmm. it's all pre uh all their mixed drinks are all pre-made but the beer the the safari um amber lager is really good and I didn't really have it much because I'm always getting lost on the safari. Yeah. And last time I had the beer, I was like, okay, this is good. Um, Did that make your list too? 
the it might be on this it, might, it might be the last thing okay it might be the last thing <clears throat> so my next drink believe it or not is also from the dawa bar and that's the margarita mm -hmm. the african margarita actually has uh liquor from africa in it tangerine liquor so it's really good it's a different drink i get it every time multiple times <laughs> yeah when, we, when we're at animal kingdom i don't think we've ever not been by the dollar bar never and pass it up especially if you're gonna wait in line for the safari we know the just bartenders. need to have a drink while you're we, waiting we've seen the same one bartender every time since our trips yeah 15 years ago same guy <laughs> that's pretty impressive and i'm staying there Lost on a Safari is the one of the best rum runners at Disney. I'm a big rum rum fan, so it's got a good balance too. Because you're walking around, Ep I'm not Epcot, Animal Kingdom a lot, and it's like not crazy strong. Good balance, refreshing drink, tastes good, nice chill place to relax. Definitely, um, it's my favorite bar at Animal Kingdom. And it's my favorite. I mean, I would say over Epcot, over everything at Epcot, it's my favorite place to hang out. Wow. But not at Disney Springs. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a big move. That's Disney bold. Springs, look, I'm going to link the video at the end if you want to know what the best absolute <laughs> to drink at. It's Bragman Road. I yeah. will fight people over that. It's I a will. good place. It Bragman good. Road is amazing. We never passed it up either. No, they have to go. And. It's not just because I'm Irish, but it's because it's just, it's just you got good. people there tap dancing, singing, bands playing. They're dancing on tables. The food's really the good. The food is amazing. The gift shop's good. Gift shop's great. And then the alcohol is, it's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> They'll leave there feeling great. <laughs> so that's five, right? We I did had five? one more. You had one more? You started. Did I leave one out? I did one, two, Oh, I only did four also. I don't know how to count. My last drink is the Yak Attack, and it's at the Yak and Yeti restaurant also at Animal Kingdom, and it's really good as well. It has mango, daiquiri, rum, and wild berry. I think Yak and Yeti was our first Disney restaurant we ever sat down in. Yeah, well, in there's, there's two. One is the quick service, and one is the sit-down. Well, the sit-down place. Yeah. Our first trip in Animal Kingdom together, that was our first... Restaurant. The food's really good there too. It's awesome. It's Even awesome. at the quick part. And so the, the ducks love the food too. Yeah. <laughs> the little ducks hanging out. Okay. My final one. Listen, this one is to me, it's common sense. I don't get how people can go to Epcot, go to all these countries. Now, if you go to Japan, sake is synonymous with Japan. Yeah. Right. You go to uh england right and and for food you're gonna get fish and chips mm -hmm. you know what i mean like if you're walking past germany and you don't get a german beer that's true you're out of your mind or a flight or a flight or 10. <laughs> so when we went with my my brother and you guys all got your little drinks remember what i got you got a liter mug of german beer yeah and hefeweizen and it's a must-have. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to walk by Germany. All you guys, listen closely, you guys, okay? All you guys that are posting on Facebook, like, I'm drinking around the world at Epcot, and you're getting all these little tiny things here. I can do that loop two, three times, <laughs> okay? Drink, go to Germany and get a real, a real beer, a real drink. Don't get this little tiny, little tiny beer mixed drink, like. You got to do it up. You got to do it, man. It's Germany. The Germans have the best beer on the planet. That's true. I will agree with that. They really do. They have the best beer on the planet. So, you know, while we're here, that's why I drink England. I mean, it's not German, but I, it's, it's a little bit heavier. I can't do Bud Light, Miller Light anymore. That was my first beer at Disney, Miller Light. Yeah. For like $8.50. The Vortex bottle. <laughs> the Vortex bottle. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was back when those were big. You used no, to be it was the all aluminum about bottle. that. It was the aluminum bottle, my first one. At all Star Sports. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100 pounds ago. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a solid list. Guys, let us know what your favorite drink at Disney World is. Don't include any Disney Spring stuff. Okay? The, you fair. have to get the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip. The Angry Orchard Dole Whip. You yeah, have to I'll get it. I'll let you slide on that. But 
the best alcoholic drink, though, is the Irish breakfast shot at Raglan Road. Yes, it's good. And the bacon's good. It's amazing. It's a, it's, it's a, I could do a whole video on that. Wait. I think I did. I'm going to put it at the end. All right, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let us know down below in the comments what your favorite drink is. And if you truly made that loop around Epcot, we've done it. You barely made it. Barely. A long time ago. <laughs> now I'm a mom. <laughs> Not happening. Or you might actually have more steam now to make it. Maybe. Who knows? We'll have to find out when we go in October. Yeah. Speaking of that, next up, next video, we're going to be doing one on. We're halfway to Halloween. Halloween That's our my favorite. favorite. It's our favorite season to go to Disney. I mean, it's tough between Christmas and Halloween, but I really got to go Halloween. Yeah, me too. So, all right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys. Also, 35 subscribers. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Road to 50, baby. Let's go. Thank you, guys. See you later. Bye.